Is that Meg is now going to test Mohan's ability to conduct electricity through his body. The requirements are a 230 volt mains supply, a selection of power hungry appliances, and an independent electrician to help verify the results. This experiment is extremely dangerous. Do not try it at home. Mohan plugs the cable into the main socket. It's now a live wire that could electrocute. Effectively, he's actually going to conduct the electrical current coming from that plug socket through his body and actually light this light bulb. Mohan proves the current is flowing. So that's lighting up now, and that's telling us that is a live wire. So Mohan has got an electrical cable in his mouth, and what we're showing here is that that is conducting through his body and is lighting this. So effectively, he is a live wire. He's actually conducting electricity now through his tongue and anywhere on his body. He's passing a current of actually 60 by, that's 240 volts. So that's approximately uh, 0.25 amperes. About 0.25 amps. That's right. About 0.25 amps is flowing through his body. It would kill a normal person. Amps are the measure of the amount of electricity flowing through a wire. Just 0.25 amps causes horrific skin burns. It makes the heart beat irregularly. Death can follow in seconds. But Mohan is prepared to push his electrical endurance even further. An electric drill. It's a 500 watt drill. The drill pulls over two amps through Mohan's body. Eight times more than the light bulb. I've never seen anything like that in my life. Mohan should be dead, but he's going further. An angle grinder needs a deadly four amps, and Mohan is taking the full charge. And he's frightened me. <laughs> He's able to conduct electricity through his body, across those incredibly vital organs, but critically, actually across the chest, so across the heart. Electric shock causes blood pressure to plummet, but amazingly, Mohan's remains constant. 120 on 90, so perfectly normal. Mohan's ability shocks Greg. I simply would not have believed that if I hadn't have seen it with my own eyes.